Hello. So what I'd like to do in this video is to communicate over the serial ports from within LabVIEW. Um, so for example, this is what you'd want to do if you want to communicate with an Arduino board from within LabVIEW. Um, Arduino, the computer sees an Arduino as a serial port, so it gives you a COM number and so you can communicate um, using serial ports. Now in this particular example, I'll be communicating using this particular robotic arm that you have in the image. Or in the um, little insert video over there. So to communicate over the serial port, you want to right click on the block diagram, go to instrument IO, you find serial over there, it's the serial port you want to communicate with. So there are, you will need to do some things. First of all, you need to configure the port. Then when you're done with everything, you're going to close the port. So you first configure the port. And then if you want to write to the port, go ahead, write to it. If you want to read from the port, go ahead, read from it. But when you're done with everything, it's very important to close the port. So I'll pick the configure block, drop that. I'll pick the, um, the close block, also drop that over there. And then I'll pick the write. In this particular case, I want to send data that I want to um, control a robotic cam. So I'll be sending data over serial to the um, robotic cam. The particular robotic arm I'll be using for this video is the um, robotic arm by, made by Images SI. It's, this is a particularly old robotic arm, so they have more recent versions on their website, but I bought this uh, quite a while back. So this is what I'll be using, and we'll communicate with it um, over the serial port. Now, um, I happen to know that the robotic arm connected to my computer is connected um, to my COM15. So I'll go ahead and on the um, Visa resource name, or maybe I should actually show this. If I show the con context help for the configure port, you see the various things we can, um, con we can configure over here. Now for the um, Visa resource name, I'll just click on this drop down and select COM15 because it's connected to COM15. I also know that the board we need, notice that the default board is 9600. But the board we need to communicate with this robotic arm is 19200. And that's really all I need to set in this particular case for the robotic arm. The reason is that data bits are 8 bits, which is fine. Parity, no parity bit is used. Flow control, I'm sorry, stop bit, one stop bit is used. That's the default, so that's fine. And flow control, no flow control, so that is fine once again. Once we're done configuring, we need to tell the um, tell lab view what resource we're writing to. So I wire, I take Visa resource name out to the right block. Also, when it's time to close, that's the same um, resource name. We just specify the resource name. So we just wire that over there. Now, in this particular case, I want to write data over and over to the um, robotic arm. So I'll go ahead and drop a while loop and say that, um, okay, so I don't want this to be a feedback note. So I'll replace with a tunnel. Now, I want this to keep on writing. Once it has done the configuration, it will now keep on writing until I click the stop button, at which point it will now stop writing. And if you go ahead and close the serial port. So we're almost done. What we now need to do is now specify what we need to write. So for this particular robotic arm, it needs me to send an array of numbers. So I need to first of all send the number seven, then I need to send um, five other numbers between 75 and 255 and so let's just say at random i decide to pick to send 150 and i'll just send 150 five times okay so i'm going to build an array now each of those numbers i should probably mention controls um a seven a seven motor there are five seven motors so the number seven simply tells the microcontroller controller board that okay i'm ready to um that what i'm about to send is data for the five motors so after that it now gets data for each of the motors and uses pulse width modulation to um, tell the rc servers exactly what position to go to so by telling um by sending 150 five different times what i'm going to do in this case is effectively move all the servo motors to a position that is quite close to their rest position quite close to 90 degrees um, for each one of them not quite 150 uh, 90 degrees or let me make this 165 which is just about 90 degrees exactly for each of them now take note that to write we're gonna we're supposed to write a string okay we're writing a string but what we have coming out of here is actually a number so what I'm going to do is come to numeric, go to conversions, and then go to byte array to string. Um, because all the numbers are going to be between um, 75 and 255. So effectively, each one of them is a byte. 
each one of them is just really a byte. Now I'll just go ahead and convert convert these to um, U8, which is which is which are actually bytes, just so that um, the red dots. Let me just show you. So this red dot here will disappear, will disappear because that's a coercion. It's actually coercing the integer, the i32 values to U8. So now this is fine. So a byte array going to string. And now if you take a look at the inset video, once I hit the run button. Um, I can control the robotic arm. Now, since I just simply set specified 165, not much will happen and all the motors will just go to one position and stop there. So I'll go ahead and click on run. Um, okay, so it's running. I didn't notice anything. Okay, so let's just see. Is it in the rest position already? Let me take this to say um, 150. And I'll run again. Oh, okay, sorry, something is missing, stop. Now, I forgot one thing. This loop is happening very, very fast, and I, what I really want to do is to send data every 20, every 20 to 30 milliseconds. Um, so I'm gonna tell you that after each loop, it should actually wait. Um, so I'll create a constant here, and I'll tell you to wait for 20 milliseconds. Each time it runs the loop, it should wait, wait 20 milliseconds. So I'll go ahead and run this now. Yeah, so we see the robotic arm moves to the position where all the motors are effectively 150, 150, 150. Now let me stop this. Let me move all of them to 180. Now sometimes I have an issue with power supply so that when I try to move the five motors at the same time, it actually misbehaves. Okay, or well, let's just do it this way. Let me move this to 165 and then I'll take one of the motors. Um, I'll take, say, this motor over here, which shall be for the shoulder. And I'll, instead, I'll control that using a slider. So let me come to my front panel and put a slider there. I want a horizontal slider just because, um, okay, so I, I thought the maximum value it can be is 255. Minimum value that is allowed is 75. Um, and then I want to make this also U8. U8, okay. So I'll stretch this out a bit so that it's a little easier to see. And I'll be doing my controls from over here. So. Now I just need to wire that in here in the pop diagram, send that to that point. So now I can go ahead and run this and then notice I can now control just that slider alone. Sorry about all of this. This happens. Okay, I'll stop this and try that again. This happens a lot because of the power supply. I'll stop. Try it again. Okay, so now it seems to be fine. Okay, so I can now go ahead and just move the slider. And as I move the slider, you see the robotic arm responds immediately. So I'm sending this data over the serial port. Okay, I'm sending this data over the serial port to the robotic arm, and this is happening live. I'll go ahead and stop this and just show a controller which I um, wrote earlier on. I'll just close this over here. And this is actually, I wrote this to control all the various motors of the robotic arm so that I can actually um, do the controls. I put in some feedback nodes, I'm putting some delays so that it doesn't move as quickly as all that. And so now we can control each of the um, joints in the robotic arm. And then for the creeper, we can open and close the creeper. So that's a simple um, video. Um, or just a simple demonstration of how we can control, how we can send data over the robotic arm. In this case, I am writing data. If I was reading data, it will come in as a string and I can do with it whatever it is I want. Thank you.